as we have entered a new year, I'm conscious that we will face many new challenges in it, but also we will receive many rich blessings too. But no matter, my friend, what we have to face, those who are trusting in Jesus have a great God to bring us through. Jeremiah says, For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. I want us to think of the greatness of God, how great thou art. First of all, our God is great in his power. Psalm 147, great is the Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. There is none to equal the power of God. And therefore, no matter how high the hill is we have to climb, or valley deep that we have to descend into, Praise God, there is nothing too hard for God, and he will bring us through his great power. And then secondly, I want us to think about his great works. Psalm 92, O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. The hymn writer said, O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works thy hand hath made, I, hear, I see the stars and I hear the mighty thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, how great thou art. Revelation chapter 15, they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, great and marvelous are thy works. And when you look around and see the handiwork of God, my friend, only a great God could make it all. And then thirdly, we have his great goodness. From Psalm number 31, it speaks about God's goodness. Oh, how great is thy goodness. Psalm 33, the earth is full of the goodness of God. And you and I look back over a year that has passed, and truly we have enjoyed the goodness, the rich divine favour of God. The psalmist says, the Lord is good. And therefore, in this year, we will enjoy the rich goodness, the great goodness of our God. And then fourthly, we have the great mercy of God. Psalm 103, for as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. And today we are the recipients of the mercy of God. His mercies are new every morning. And thank God his mercies are great. Psalm 136, every single verse it says, The mercy of the Lord endureth forever. And so it does. And then in Ephesians chapter 2, But God, who is rich in mercy... For his great love, wherewith he hath loved us. His great love. And thank God we can say, yes, he loved me. That while I was yet a sinner, Christ died for me. And God sent his son to Calvary's cross to shed his precious blood. I will never be able to comprehend the, the height of the love of God or plumb the depths of his love. But praise God, I know that God loves me and Jesus, God's son, died for me. And because he loved me, God has provided for me a great salvation. Hebrews chapter 2, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? And thank God, I know that I am saved, for by grace are ye saved through faith that not of yourselves it is the gift of God it is not of works lest any man should boast tell me are you enjoying God's great salvation I will praise him throughout all eternity that he saved me in time but there's one other great in the book of Revelation chapter 6 for the great day of his wrath has come and who shall be able to stand the great wrath of God. My dear friends, let me tell you this. Those who reject God's great power 
and his great works and his great goodness and great mercy and great love and great salvation will place themselves under the eternal wrath of God and condemnation of a holy God forever. Tell me, is that you? And when I think that God, his son, not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in, that on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Saviour God to thee, how great thou art. Tell me, have you received God's great salvation? Are you resting in him? Great is our God. Heavenly Father, bless your word to our hearts in Jesus' precious name. Amen. From my heart to yours, hope to yours. God bless you.